For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a passing play for you guys today that, in my opinion, is one of the hardest passing plays to stop in the game. I've been using this play going back several Maddens. I'm sure a lot of people have been watching this channel for a long time. You'll probably recognize this play right away because it's been one of the staples of my channel for a long time. But I haven't put it out this year. And I've noticed recently that I've been running this play a lot. And typically, I just give you guys uh, stuff that I've been using a lot and having a lot of success with. So this is a play that I'm going to show you guys today. The formation itself is the empty Y Saint. It's also known as the Eagle Age slot typically in custom playbooks. That's probably going to be the number one comment that I get in the comment section is what formation is this? I can't find it in custom playbooks. It's the Eagle Age slot. I'm sure people skipped over this part. You're probably not even watching this and you're going to be the guy to comment. So if somebody comments, what's the formation? I want everybody else to comment it like right away and just, so, you know, just watch the video, bro. The play itself is the Saints Fork. Like I said, if you've seen me put out this video in previous years, because I put it out every single year, let me know in the comment section that you're paying attention because it's it's important to me. I want to know who's been watching this channel for a long time. So the Saints Fork is the play. Uh, there's not a lot of real adjustments you have to make here, uh, but ultimately you just want to make sure that your best receiver is probably at this slot position right here. That's probably the only real change. Um, I don't have a full scheme, but I have put out a lot of placements formation, so I will put links in the description. If you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense as always, Always hit the like button let me know in the comment section on the defensive side we're just gonna go random to start because I'm gonna show you guys how you can run this against just about anything and then I'll break it down covers to cover so you guys can understand that if you're good enough to read a defense that you can really exploit just about any defense with this play now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at aoeah.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time all I have to do is check them out links in the description below and use discount code money to get 3% off what they guarantee is always gonna be the cheapest coin price on the market as far as this play goes um, there's really not not a lot of setup involved. I would say all you really have to do is put the X route here on a slant. If you're not great with making adjustments, that would probably be the first and only step you have to make, but there's going to be other adjustments that I make. Like I like to put the B route here on a streak, but he has a lot of value. If I leave him doing what he's doing, he has a lot of value when it comes to like beating man coverage and stuff like that. So that's not something I necessarily want to do, but on every single play, I'm always going to slant the X route. As far as the reads go, I'm pretty much reading the high low on the right side. I'm reading the A route to the RB route pretty much every single time. Like I said, if I I want to accentuate that i can just streak this b route here to make that a little bit easier but ultimately that's going to be my reads i'm going from a to rb and then my check down is going to be my x route all the other routes are really there if there's a specific coverage which i'll go into after this but ultimately this is something where like i said i can just take this a route right off the bat if it's there i'm going to take that for a catch and run every single time I'm not always going to get a lot of huge yards uh, i probably want to run this since there's no real plays i typically want to run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field because there's no real plays on the other side there's nothing really going on um, uh, to the uh, to the left uh, to the point where I need that space. I'd rather have the catch and run space for the tight end. So this looks like a cover through right off the gate uh, and it looked like it wasn't actually, it was a man coverage. But like I said, if that tight end's there, I'm gonna take that every single time, especially if my opponent pays attention to it because that's the real plan. I wanna get my opponent where, worrying about that five to 10 yard catch and run out route. And then I'm gonna start exploiting some of these bigger plays. So like I said, that's the first read. If it's there, I'm gonna take it. The second read is the RB route. I haven't really seen too many opportunities for that, but you can see right here, we're gonna get that route the gate. That's a really big play that's why i said you gotta have your fastest receiver there that's about a 20 yard play compared to a 10 yard play pretty much all these routes get open the only route that doesn't get open is going to be the b route uh and that even that would get open against man coverage to be honest with you but like i said this is pretty much the read structure there i got bumped outside and i just took that like i said both of them were open that's really as easy as it gets and then like i said the check down which is always going to be there i haven't even really had to look at it yet because these other routes are always going to be open is going to be the x route at any point in time i don't like what i see and i wasn't even looking at this time to be honest with you i forced 
attached it to the check down. But there's a lot of things you can do as far as specific coverages. So let's go and let's pick the Saints fork one more time. Uh, on defense, we're going to go with cover two. We're going to start with Tim two and work our way back. Now, before I continue, I just want to let you guys know that I will be doing some giveaways pretty soon uh, as far as NFL gear. That's why I'm wearing an NFL gear. I'll be wearing a lot more NFL gear in my upcoming videos because I have partnered with a clothing company named Ultra Game. I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check out their Amazon page. They're the highest rated NFL apparel clothing company on Amazon. Uh, so check them out if you guys are looking for something for yourself or somebody else that you know. So let's say your opponent starts noticing that you're running this play a lot and they're running a lot of cover twos. You notice they're running a lot of cover two zones. That gives me an opportunity to attack that play directly. And all I have to do is really make one a different adjustment. So I'm going to keep my X on the slant. I'm going to keep my B on a streak or a fade. And all I really have to do is switch it up and put the RB route on a streak and now you're going to see how this rb route really can get open against a lot of different uh, coverages as you can see right here he just gets <gasps> open right over the middle though i didn't get a good throw because i did have a little pressure on my face but my specific cover two adjustment um it doesn't really matter if i want the blocking i can do that if i want the flat i can have that as well uh, but ultimately i'm really just waiting for uh this rb route here to get you know up the scene here you can see he just basically splits the safeties and i got too much of a pass lead there more than i really wanted but you can see how this is, um, you know, very explosive play. I used to do that with the tight end. The tight end was also a very good option, but I find that it's best to just keep him in this check down because that's gonna be one of the better things when it comes to the pressure is your ability just to get it out of your hand right, right away. So let's do that one more time. Let's give ourselves the blocking advantage. And let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's see, now we can double on that end. And we're just going straight up the middle because there's no mid-read linebacker in the world that's going to cover your best receiver up the center of a cover two zone. Now we're going to go coverage to coverage. Cover two man is next. We typically do that, but I want to do cover three sky because there is a very important connection between cover two and cover three. Against cover three, the restructure is pretty much the same, but you have the option to put the tight end on a streak. This play here, if you do this, a lot of times you just have a nice little throwing window you can drop it in. It's something I do a lot. If you get a big enough, uh, you know, like right here, the safety is kind of playing in the tight end's direction, but if he's not, if he's more on the other side of the field, a lot of times you can get a very big play against cover three. But like I said, this is something you got a bullet, pass lead. A lot of times I'll save catch, but streaks up the seam typically beat cover three, and it does a very good job here. With that being said, though, you really have to make a choice because the A route is a very good cover three beater for a catch and run. So any cover three or cover four, this is going to be the biggest play because typically the quarterbacks drop back to a point where they're really not in a position to make a play. Uh, you can really go, you know, make this the combination if you really want to keep that flat. But you can see here, I mean, it spreads that defense a little bit quicker, but it also isn't really open the same way as the tight end is, uh, which is something that, you know, that's kind of what makes this play so glitchy. You can see it's not the fact that the Titans on a flat route it's the fact that you get that or the fact that you get that zone chuck which makes him get open the cover three zone chuck is really puts itself at a disadvantage you don't get that zone chuck if you run it this way but you do get a reaction and it makes this guy get open that much faster for probably a much easier catch and run so that's something to keep in mind against cover three you can streak the tight end cover four is pretty much the same way so we're gonna go we're gonna do cover four and by that I mean cover four drop contain not cover four matching cover four is the exact same setup although this time the RB route's probably much better than typically, uh, but the A route's gonna be the same way. Cause like I said, you get that same zone chuck. Anytime you get that zone chuck, he basically acts like a blocker. I mean, it's almost like you're designing it. There are plays in the NFL where a lot of times a receiver will purposely run into a defensive back to get a guy open. And that's exactly what this play is. It's almost like he's uh, he's doing that to get this guy open. And like I said, you just take this right away, which most plays, won't be there but like i said that's such an annoying easy five to ten yard five to fifteen yard play it's just it should be something you should be looking at all the time but you also have the ability to put the a route on the streak one more time and now the rb route doesn't get zone chopped as dramatically and he gets outside to cover four so there's multiple ways to run this like i said i run this so much i could run it with my eyes closed so now that we went over every zone we can go over um, cover four match, and then we're going to go over some man coverages. But I'm going to show you guys. There's a very unique thing you can do against cover four quarters or cover four palms. Let's go and let's pick that. This play here is pretty glitchy against cover four. All you have to do is put the A route on a streak, and you will see that this route gets completely forgotten by the defense. Uh, as you can see there, I mean, the only th reason there was a defender in the area is because the, the post route was bringing them across. But this is an amazing cover four play. Now, what makes this so glitchy is the fact that this is a cover four match. Cover four match typically has four guys that really cover anything deep past 10 yards. Once it gets to 10 yards, they basically activated uh, by the guy closest in their area. That's kind of how it works. And I mean, there's you know, there's more to it than that in the programming, I'm not sure. But ultimately, you have four guys to cover routes past 10 yards. And I have five guys running routes 
past 10 yards. So one of them will pretty much always get left alone. So that's why this play works. It just so happens on this particular play that it just lets the uh, the, the, the tight end go straight up the middle, which is kind of embarrassing, as you can see right here. At this point, 20 yards up the field, look how far, look how wide open I am. There's nothing here as he's just running down the field. So basically, I mean, if I just want to put the B route here on a comeback, that's the best way to make sure that he doesn't really get involved in the play. Uh, and then you can see here, once again, we just get that same look. And this guy's just running up the field with nobody covering him. So unless the user is on that, which like I said, this entire play is based off of throwing to the flats over and over and over because it's constantly open on that check and release. Uh, you know, like I said, getting 15 right there. So once they start paying to that, pay attention to that shorter stuff, that's when these adjustments to throw deeper really come into play. Uh, but you can see, like I said, I can just do this guy in a 10 yard out so he doesn't get in the way anymore. And then, like I said, this guy's gonna be just ridiculously wide open as you can see i mean he's got what, 15 to 20 yards that's why this is you know comfort cords is a really good defense but it can easily be glitched if somebody knows what they're doing all the zone coverages in the game can be beat by this one play in multiple ways by the way uh let's go and let's get on to some of the man coverages so the saints fork uh is really going to be something that will probably force your opponent into a lot of man coverages because ultimately man coverage is what's going to take away that flat route that i'm uh, basically utilizing so heavily so let's go and let's pick cover two man to start a lot of times i mean honestly the flat route should be covered but based off of the alignment i'm looking at here this guy will still get open for a catch around pretty much every single time which is something that your opponent will pick up on they will they will give they will show that they're in a man coverage because they will constantly start moving they'll notice that too and they'll start moving that linebacker across you'll basically have nobody in the center of the field because they're going to have to align that or you can keep stealing that but once they start doing that it really doesn't matter because pretty much all these other routes beat man anyway <laughs> although there i don't know what happened i think it's a really good release when they come out in man coverage like i said Said. you got a couple different options but it's pretty much the same three options it's the rb route the a route and the x route once they start moving um you know their guy over this is another trick i like to do if they start man aligning uh which they will do and i'll show it in my gameplay i just basically uh you know put the a route in a drag and go the opposite way i mean right here he's out of position one way or the other it doesn't really matter nothing is going to cover that route no matter what your opponent does that tight end will always get open if you recognize you're in man coverage so i'm gonna go to end the video there if you guys want to see more out of this formation do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section for now it's just gonna be on my patreon on my join out community tab and in my ebooks uh which you can check those out links in the description below as well other than that thanks for watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below Thank you.